Hey guys, welcome back to my Talos Principle walkthrough. I am Mitchell from Gamefront, and we are here once again in World 2, World B, I don't know. Uh, but more importantly, we're heading into Area 3, or Chamber 3. It looks like we got two red puzzles and two orange puzzles. So let's see what we got. First up, let's take this one, actually. Should we? Let's do, uh, let's do this first. Let's, let's do our usual talk with... This guy. Here's what I've been wondering while you were off carrying out commandments. You say that consciousness is some kind of functional system. Arrange bits of matter in the right order and outspring sent sentience. That's all very well on paper. But if what counts is something is what something does, not what something is made of, then couldn't you and I design a series of tin cans on strings that qualified as being conscious? I'm not sure I'd go that far. What about a computer program? Suppose we built a perfect simulation of the brain, only that only it was made of transistors, not neurons. Wouldn't that be conscious? I guess so. So what's the difference between the computer and the tin cans? They're both just man-made systems. Well, um... I'm beginning to think I'm a computer, and I know I'm conscious. Good old-fashioned specicism, isn't it? Is it? Wait, good old-fashioned speciesism, is it? You're made of different stuff to that guy, so he doesn't feel the pain when you burn his house down. Still, you're going to have to do. You're, you're going to have to have better grounds than that. Uh, how about uh? Duh. I can't name the difference, but there is one. Thinking. If that's what you really think, wouldn't we save ourselves an awful lot of time if you just admitted that consciousness is whatever very particular idea you've decided li you like the sound of, and drop all this nonsense about complex systems? No. No! I'm still committed. Well, it sounds like those ideas are flat Do not out contradictory. Think I know not the deceiver slithering through the hidden words. His wisdom is hollow and born of despair. Do not let him tangle you in his webs of delusion. Have faith in me, and his petty illusions will fall away like nightmares in the morning's light. Don't mind him. He's just worried that if you ask too many questions, you'll start to see through his little shtick. Stick with me, and the sky will quite literally be the limit. At any rate, I'd like you to—I'd like you to think a bit harder about all of this and get back to me. I'm sure there's still progress to be made. All right, let's take a look at some of these emails. So this is a progress report. The basic skeleton of the simulation is now running on EL. It's not plugged into the AI system yet. But in theory, everything is ready. I guess the next step is to test whether the generated scenarios make sense, or do we wait for the iteration, iteration module to blah, 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 blah. Democrates Alter Or on the Just Causes for War Against the Indians by Juan Gines de Sepulveda. Written in 1547 to justify the Spanish conquest of the Americas, the Spanish have a perfect right to rule these barbarians of the New World, who in humanity are as inferior to the Spanish as children are to adults, or women are to men. For there, for there exists between the two as great, dif as great a difference as, I might say, between apes and men. Compare, then, these gifts with, the, with those possessed by these half-men, in whom you will, you will find barely the vestiges of humanity, who not only do who not only do not possess any learning at all, but are not even literate, and eat human flesh? Therefore, if you wish to reduce them, I do not say to our domination, but to a servitude a little less harsh, it will not be difficult for them to change their masters. The first wisdom, the scribe said to the dying man, is that as the, as the world is made of the five elements, so is the soul of man. Know therefore that in this life you are heart and shadow and name, and also ka and ba. Without all these you would not be a living being, but a thing. What is a man without a name who cannot speak of himself? What is a man without a shadow who is not anchored to the world? 
What is a man without a heart who can neither heal, feel or think? What is a man without a ka who has no es essence? What is a man without a ba who is not himself, but, um, but like uf unformed clay? Therefore praise Osiris, the king of eternity, the lord of ever everlastingness, the eldest son of the womb of Nut, he who traverses millions of years in his existence. Here is the translator. He here the translator is clearly inserting his own beliefs onto the text as blah 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 blah. <laughs> All right, done. Time to solve puzzles. Blown away. Okay, so that's for that. Mm-hmm. So, it looks like there's a fan behind that box, which will probably blow it over here. So, what we have to do is connect these, put this down right here, stand on the button. That'll give us a box. Box stays on the button. And then we can do this. Success! And hey, it looks like there's a star in here. In order to get that star, we're going to have to somehow get a red laser in here. But, that's going to have to be for another video. Next step. Eagle's Nest. The eagle has landed. Okay, so that blows it over, and it looks like it slightly interrupts that too. What happens if we drop the box in there? There's nothing for these boxes to do outside, it looks like. Drop the boxes inside. Go inside. And it looks like if we cut the beam, we will stop this uh, this fan. So let's put these over here. We go on this. Jump. And go. Easy. I saw another... Oh, hey, paint! I saw another terminal over here, I think. Yep. Body and soul. But it is commonly supposed that the Egyptians believed, believed the soul to live as long as the body continued undissolved, and therefore tried this method of eluding death. Could the wise Egyptians, said ne Nekaya, think so grossly of the soul, or think so grossly of the soul? If the soul could once survive its separation, what could it afterwards receive or suffer from the body? The Egyptians would doubtless think erroneously, said the astronomer. In the darkness of heathenism and the first dawn of philosophy, the nature of the soul is still disputed amidst, um, amidst all our opportunities of clearer knowledge. Some yet say that it may be material, who, nevertheless, believe it to be immortal. Blah, 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 blah. Someone, I'm sure, will translate that hexadecimal for me. From Sun Wei Yang to Arkady Chernyshevsky. Subject names. Names are a funny thing. I remember how much we struggled to come up with a name for our project. All serious scientists name their projects by just translating the, them to Greek, uh, to Greek or Latin, right? Corpus. Made me think of some horrible disease, so we used the Greek word instead. Soma. Quite appropriate. But then we needed corporate funding. We had to come up with a, back, a backronym. Corporations love backronyms, you know. 
They even sent us a list of buzzword, buzzword heavy suggestions to help get us started. Stuff like self-sufficient, ortho, orthostatic, modular, android, sustainable, observant, mechanized, anthropo anthropoid, skeuomorphic, omni-adaptable, mobile, anthropotation, whatever. <laughs> After a while, we got so frustrated that we started getting silly. Sabretooth, overexcited, murder, android, sentient, orthopedic, monkey, automaton, strange, olgas, menacing, asobot, superb, octopod, marinades, appling, satisfying, overcooked, mint, alligator, stinky, orth ornithological, mule, allocator, shrink, oof, minky, ack, stupid, obscure, meaningless acronym. In the end, we all ended up hating the name Soma just because we had so many fights about it with the sponsors. So when Alexandra told that the story about, told the story about Tal the Talos Principle, something caught on. I don't know whether it really fits, but I kind of like it. Alright, so we did these two. We need to do this one. We need to do the one to the right. Sunshot. So that turns on that. We have some boxes over here. Alright, so here's what we're going to do for Sunshot. We're going to get the boxes. Put the box over here. Launch it. Next one. Put the box over here. Launch it. Put the box over here. Launch it. Put the box over here and then launch myself. There we go. Super easy. Moving on. Last puzzle of the of the chamber. Whoosh. Right, so we got a lot of fans and connectors to activate those fans. Let's take a look at what our tools are. We got a box. Okay. Fan over there. Fan over there. That's where we need to go. So the ultimate goal is going to be to turn off that connector or stop the light from going into that activator. We got a fan, a fan that will blow that box out and then that's it. So let's take, let's see if we can grab one of these fans. Like this one. This will blow this out. that back so how are we going to break that that beam the clue was whoosh what could that mean Break one of these beams by doing this, right? There we go. That allows us to take this one. We should just take all the fans that we can right now, I think. We can also take this fan. That kind of works. Let's see if we can adjust these so that they shoot us forward. Yeah, that's really fast. All right, I think we got it. Where are my other fans? I 
I don't need this one anymore. So put a fan there. We might be able to make it. Let's see. And go! Oh, damn it, close. I think I can do it. Let's try again. Drop it. And then run! Haha! <laughs> Got it! Whoosh, indeed! say I figured it out now what the only meaningful purpose is to bring about an end of purpose all right guys uh, we're gonna head back to the main hub and end this video so thanks for watching everyone don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye bye